from discovery to resolution, a defect moves through a definite life cycle, called the defect life cycle. Let's look into it. Suppose, a tester finds a defect. The defect is assigned a status, new. The defect is assigned to development project manager, who will analyze the defect. He will check whether it is a valid defect. Consider that on the flight reservation application, the only valid password is Mercury, but you test the application for some random password, which causes logon failure, and report it as defect. Such defects, due to corrupted test data, misconfigurations in the test environment, invalid expected results etc. are assigned a status rejected. If not, the defect is checked whether it is in scope. Suppose, you find a problem with the email functionality, but it is not part of the current release. Such defects are postponed. Next, manager checks whether a similar defect was raised earlier. If yes, defect is assigned a status duplicate. If no, the defect is assigned to developer who starts fixing the code. During the stage defect is assigned a status, in progress. Once, code is fixed. Defect is assigned a status, fixed. Next, the tester will retest the code. In case the test case passes, the defect is closed. If the test cases fails again, the defect is reopened and assigned to the developer. Consider a situation where during the first release of flight reservation a defect was found in fax order, which was fixed and assigned a status closed. During the second upgrade release, the same defect again resurfaced. In such cases, a closed defect will be reopened. That is all to bug life cycle.